summer 1944. Allied troops are advancing into France, but their supply lines are cut off. The 3rd Infantry Division are sent to help, but encounter heavy resistance. One man would take on impossible odds to clear the way. His name? Staff Sergeant Lucien Adams. Born to a family of 12 in Port Arthur, Texas, Adams was no stranger to hard work. Prior to enlisting, he worked to manufacture landing craft, the very same that would carry him to European shores. The 22-year-old Staff Sergeant already had combat experience in Italy before being sent to occupied France, a country now under full German control. Allied invasion of Europe is underway as part of Operation Overlord and later Operation Dragoon. The fighting is intense and every piece of the military machine must work together. Adams in the 3rd Infantry Division is landed near Saint-Tropez and begins to advance into central France, soon reaching saint D. Their mission was to open a supply route and meet up with two assault companies that had been cut off by German troops. The Germans were dug into a heavily wooded area, including three mounted gunner positions. Adams was sent ahead to scout and reported back to his commander. He was then turned around and sent in with the squad to clear the way. Even knowing what lay in wait, they did not hesitate. They advanced just 10 yards before coming under heavy fire, immediately killing three of Adams' men and wounding six others. His squad dove for cover, but Adams took matters into his own hands. He dodged forward, using trees as cover, and lobbed a grenade, destroying the first fixed gunner position. Seconds later, another enemy soldier rose from a foxhole, but Adams was faster. He swung his borrowed Browning automatic rifle around and eliminated the ambusher. Still under fire from another mounted gunner, Adams charged and lobbed another grenade, finishing the gunner and forcing the two supporting troops to surrender. Unfazed, Adams pushed deeper into the wooded area, finding and eliminating five more enemy troops as he went. A third mounted gunner position locked onto Adams and opened fire, missing. This critical error cost them as Adams turned and fired back, clearing the last enemy position. In around 10 minutes, he neutralized nine enemy soldiers, three enemy mounted gunner positions, and eliminated an enemy specialized force equipped with heavy weaponry. His heroics allowed supply lines to be reopened to the strand of the soul companies that lay ahead. Amazed by what they had witnessed, Adam's squad would give him the nickname, the Texas Tornado. Unfortunately, President Roosevelt passed away prior to presenting Adams with the Medal of Honor, so Adams completed the European campaign. In a fitting show of defiance to the shadow that had previously covered Europe, Adams would receive his Medal of Honor from Lieutenant General Patch in the famous Nuremberg Zeppelin Stadium, where the US flag had been draped over the enemy's emblem. Adams continued his dedication to service, working in Veterans Affairs for over 40 years before retiring. He passed away in March 2003 and lies at rest in Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. Staff Sergeant Lucien Adams is remembered in Texas by a school bearing his name and also a freeway, the I-37. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like and subscribe and check out my playlist for more.